What is up, everybody? It is your boy Redeem TV, and I'm coming at you with a day two video. Um, and I just wanted to go in a little bit in debt um, to how tough it was day two. Day one, it, it felt like I had something going, you know, because it's the first day, and there's a lot of motivation when you're starting out something on your first day. But like day two, <sighs> wow. I mean, I was some things I experienced were just being very 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 uh hungry obviously and grouchy like very grouchy um because you're hungry you know and bored you know um you, i guess you don't realize how much entertainment i would say comes from eating i know that sounds weird but i mean i guess it's entertaining to eat like a slob <laughs> you know like it passes time when you're cooking and eating constantly um, but I did enjoy two good meals yesterday. I enjoyed, well, three, technically. Um, my wife made me some boiled eggs. I had two boiled eggs for breakfast. And then for lunch, I made a spinach salad, which was which was really good. I really enjoy. I've really been enjoying the spinach salads. But the thing about the spinach salads is that, like, they go straight through me. And I don't mean, like, right out my ass. I mean, like, they just go to my stomach and get absorbed so fast. And then I'm hungry again. So, but I did enjoy a good spinach salad. That was my lunch meal. And my third meal was two chicken breasts um, fried in olive oil. I don't know if you, I mean, it was fried, but I guess olive oil is a lot better for you than regular, regular traditional like Crisco oil or something like that. So it wasn't olive oil, lightly fried. Um, I would say like pan seared because I put the pan over it kind of, or I put the pan with the lid and a little bit of olive oil. And it, it was so good with some rice, which is actually what I'm eating for breakfast today uh, this is day three of me in my journey but i'm always a day ahead so i want to give you guys day two tomorrow i'll do day three but hey, yesterday was tough um it was fourth of july we had i did have some drinks i did drink some bacardi and my wife made me a, a two pina colada so that was i don't know if that's kind of a cheat she just it's just cream and chick cream and chicken <laughs> cream of uh cream of i can't coconut cream of coconut with uh, some Bacardi, and I think that's it with some ice. Um, but I did have two of those, and then uh, my last meal, which was the dinner, was at six thirty. And I tell you what, by eight o'clock, I wanted to go in my pantry and eat six Slim Jims, a bag of chips, some hot pockets, so something like I just wanted to dog out. Like it was really, really tough for me to avoid those cravings. Um, so I ended up jumping in the shower, taking a bath or not a bath, a shower and just went to bed at like nine thirty. not to sleep, but went in my bed at nine o'clock and just stood there. And I was up to like two o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm on these new pills. I'm not endorsed by this company at all, obviously, but I'm on these, uh, these pills because my body has probably been lacking actual nutrition for the longest time. So I'm taking like a multivitamin pill. It's called uh, Megamin Energy and Metabolism, and they've been doing really well for me. It's two every two every day with a meal, and it gives me consistent energy and doesn't make me crash. Like, I do not crash at all, and I've taken these pills before in my weight loss journeys, and they always worked well for me. Um, let's see what it has in the bottle. It has vitamin A, <clears throat> vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K. It has um, Thurman, vitamin B, Ro Rio Flavin, vitamin B through 2, Night King, vitamin B through 6, Folate, vitamin B through 12, and a whole bunch of other good stuff in here. Um, I'm trying to find out what's the uh, energy. Where does the energy come from? It says energy. Okay, so here we go. It says energy and metabolism. Energy and metabolism blend is 150 milligrams caffeine green tea extract yeah so these and they're gluten free these are really good pills by gnc it's a, it's a multivitamin and it just kind of kick starts my day and and not makes me tired you know those are another thing uh you know naps naps are pretty uh pretty hectic you know when you need them but i haven't had the urge for three days now to take a nap so this is Yesterday was was really tough, man. I mean, you know, I, I've experienced this before. 
Um, and I know that that first week, possibly first month, is going to be extremely, extremely tough. And I, I feel good that I made it through without snacking. That's mine, and a lot of you guys can probably attest to that, that the biggest, biggest, biggest thing is snacking. That's how we all end up here, right? Majority of us is, you know, not only do we do the fast food, right? We go to Burger King and all that stuff and whatever, Chili's, Olive Garden, but we snack on top of that. One of those meals can contain up to 3,000 calories, 2,000 calories, and, and that way surpasses the 2,000 calorie diet daily, you know, and then you have your snacks, your candy bars, your soda, your chips, um, but it, it's hard, it was really hard for me yesterday, I'm not gonna lie, guys, like, I, I, I made it through, and it was just purely out of strength, like, me just fighting through it, you know, um, day two, and that's, this is just, we're just in the first week, so, um, it was, it was very, very tough, very, very tough. And I just want to say if there's anybody out there who is, who is going through the same thing, trying to fight those hunger, hunger, like pains, I call them hunger pains, fight through it. It will get better. And the result is going to be amazing. And, um, you know, it's funny to say, I don't want to like be that guy who's like always jumping on a scale, checking my weight, checking, you know, my, my, my losses and gains. I, I'm probably not gonna do that for the first month. I, I do know I started at 290, so I'm not I'm not gonna check because I don't want that to be discouraging. And I want you guys not to do the same thing. If you guys are on this journey with me, don't check your weight. Don't check your weight once a month. Check your weight once every 30 days exactly. So my next weight check is gonna be August 4th. That's gonna be my next weight check, and then you can compare and see. But don't check your weight. Don't don't expect something to happen. Like man, I have an eight and then three days I should lose 10 pounds. You know, don't, don't do that. Don't check your weight. Don't do it to yourself. Um, but, you know, day two was tough. And the worst part was being hungry. You know, I'm used to eating up until like 1030 at night. It's whatever the hell I want. But to be disciplined enough to tell, tell yourself, I'm not eating past 630. To be disciplined enough to tell yourself that. You got to be disciplined. I'm not eating past 630. You know? I'm not eating past 6.30. And that's what, that's what my plan is. And that hunger that you're experiencing, that's your body looking for something, you know. And your body is sucking all those nutritions or whatever it is, whatever you have, your reserves. You know, you're, we're big. We're not going to die if we don't eat. You know what I mean? We're bigger. We can handle it. You know what I'm saying? So, and I haven't started out any exercise, but I do believe I'm going to hit the treadmill today depending on how I feel. But that might be an issue, you know. Um finding energy especially when you don't eat so i have to figure out i think the best time to actually do a moderate workout whether listen you don't have to go to the gym if you're bigger and you don't want to go to the gym or you don't have the motivation or not the time listen if you're dieting and you're doing it right go to your go to your living room and do do 100 jumping jacks 50 jumping jacks 20 jumping jacks right start out at doing 20 you know jog in place get a jump rope dance you know um do anything to get that heart flow and burning those calories because right after you wake up until you have your breakfast right when you wake up that's the best time to burn calories it's the best time your body is pushing for it it's the best time to burn calories right when you wake up so if you can get that workout in i definitely would encourage you guys to get that workout in right when you wake up uh, I'm going to start trying to do it, and I might even throw it in a vlog video for tomorrow. Um, I'm in the process of getting a, a camera situated so I can do these vlogs with a, with, a, with a setup. That way I can take you guys with me, not just more of like me sitting down talking. Um, but it's looking good. I mean, the first day was, was great. Second day, not so great. Today, I'm, I'm, I'm okay until you know, I, I just have to eat. But day two was, was a good day. I, I accomplished, my, my goal was to not cave. This is my goal every day. But I made a personal goal for myself at like 6, 7.30, like don't cave, because I was there, man. I was just ready to just put a damn bear and just shove my mouth. Some of my friends could attest, I was texting them like, dude, I'm hungry. <laughs> so, but that's good. Um, guys, if you're with this, with, this, uh, with this journey, on this journey with me, man, drop a comment down below. Uh, there's a Discord there as well. We will be making a new Discord. Uh, 
server on my discord for people who are doing the same thing so if you guys are doing this as well man don't be shy jump into the discord we have over 2,000 members we'll all be there to help you we'll be supportive we can all experience this together this is not something that should be done on your own you should not be trying to do this on your own it, it works with more than one person it works with having support it works to have a support group so we'll be here for you i'm here for you and we all could we all could share those pains so i will leave the discord in the description but guys that is my day two almost caved and and just ate a whole bunch of stuff was super grouchy but at the end of the day super successful and i'm, I'm proud of the proud of the commitment so on the day three guys i really do appreciate all the love and support remember stay positive stay healthy and kick that fat catch you guys later peace